Carnival restaurant is known as a colorful destination. It just makes you happy being inside there with pan Latin cuisine and live entertainment. In today's lunch break, we're making a festive fall dish, lamb shank barbacoa with executive chef Carlos Garza. Thank you for being here, filling this studio with the most no. amazing <laughs> Thank you for having me. ever. This I know is this amazing. is a labor just intensive is, yeah, dish, it is. It right? Is. It's a so lot of we, hours of work, yes. flavors together, connecting culture, flavors. So unlike with most lunch breaks where we cook it and then we kind of plate it up, you actually have it plated up now and we're going to kind of go backwards and yeah. deconstruct it. Of course. Okay. Uh, basically, it's a dish based uh, like barbacoa and a staple dish in some parts of Mexico. I'm focusing on the state of Oaxaca. Oh, nice. Okay. Cooking the, the lamb shank with a lot of dried peppers, smoky peppers, and then I cover it with banana leaves. So it gives like the floral, earthy flavor to Ooh. it. And it gives like two or three hours of cooking and slow cooking. Okay. With garlic, pepper, spices. Like I said, it's lots of flavors. So do you put these peppers right in or do you cut them up and get the insides in there? It's just the whole thing. You just, just put the whole get, thing in to there. To get the whole flavors together. They're not, they're not really spicy. Right. They're more it's about the flavorful. flavor to it. Then from there, we just blend it with the, with the juice coming out of it. And that's kind of like what we have just to finish it on the dish and pour it over here. How long was that sitting in all those great flavors? Three hours. Three hours. Okay. Three hours in low, in low heat cooking. And I'm telling so, you, if you do this at home, <laughs> your house is going to smell amazing. And because as you can it really tell in here, so nice as you in can here. see here, it's a process of it. Cooking it with the peppers, cover it with the banana leaves, okay. just to give like really unique flavor. Yeah, you know, and then that's that's how we that's how we. And then what it. do you do with all the vegetables that and we have from here? here? We just have these beautiful tomatoes that we grow in a rooftop garden. I know that's wonderful. And then we just finish them like this. We don't have too much to add to it, just because the flavor of it. it just connect it with some peppers that we grow in the rooftop garden as well. Oh, I love it. The shallots, it's just product that we grow in a rooftop garden and then we bring down to the restaurant mm -hmm. so our guests can have a so you beautiful know it's fresh. experience <laughs> and it's, it's, it's fresh, a unique experience that we have here because not every restaurant can have, you know, some freshness right. and seasonal ingredients like ourselves Then we take a lot of pride. And then from here, we just go ahead and put it around our dish so you can have it all together and plate it here. And you made the rice and beans in advance. And, and of course, you know, at the end, we'll have the step by step on our website. Of so you can go through this and do this at home. I want to talk about some of the events that we have going on there because you've got this, what's it, the Copa Carnival? Yeah, Copa Carnival. Tell us about it, that. There's always something going on at Carnival. Look, you, you know, can see how colorful. There's the exterior of the restaurant. Right this there. is inside. That's, I mean, if it doesn't brighten your day to be in there. Exactly. It just completely changed your day. No matter how the weather is outside Chicago, once you get into Carnival with the colorful yes. flavors, it's just with good vibes, atmosphere, and if you haven't dishes. been to the brunch, I think this is the best Bloody Mary in the city. That's a meal in and of itself. It I don't is. know that I needed any yeah. food. I just, <laughs> like a little burger, I think, uh, on top of the Bloody. We have, you know, brunch on Sundays. Yes. Like I said, with a unique experience, just going for there for food, drinks. And then we have the Copa Carnival that we're going to have in October. Mm -hmm. It's just a one-time life experience, having the shows, entertainment, dancing, Wow. You know, it just feels you that you're not even in the city of Chicago. You're just yes. somewhere else <laughs> having fun. You and, feel and, like and, you're at Carnival, yeah, right? Exactly. And then, what about the alley, that kind the, of secret squirrel the, little the space? The alley is just something that we have in the back room of the restaurant where people go through the alley of Carnival. That's what we call the alley of right. Carnival. And then it's like a speakeasy where we have different entertainment bands. We're going to have a tribute to Amy Winehouse pretty soon oh, nice. and it's just once you get in there we close the doors live music entertainment can anyone get in how do we, how do we know I mean, the code <laughs> now we just have to check the website once you check the website you'll see a lot of information of what carnival offers every other day right. also we have a thursday pop-up entertainment yes live and it's music live music dancers it's just amazing once you get into a thursday night and you just find that as a vacation day. Yes. 
<laughs> knowing that you might go to work next day, but it's <laughs> going to have a fun. And it's going to work cool. a little blurry-eyed <laughs> sometimes, I think. But it's great because it is. It's, it's wonderful food, but it's also entertainment, and then you can kind of get up and dance around with them. It I is. Just, it is just a unique, you know, experience. Yeah, that it's not a happy every space, restaurant for sure. offers in the city of Chicago is just carnival, just an institution, you know, oh, been, I know. been for there. so many years. Decades, yeah. And, and it's you just drive amazing. by it on the highway exactly. and you know there it is, right? Exactly. Thank you so much for no, being here, you. for filling our studio with these wonderful scents. Like I said, the step-by-step -step directions are going to be on our web page because it may take a while, but really then your whole house is going to smell amazing. Yeah. You can visit Carnival at 702 West Fulton Market Street. Check out the events at CarnivalChicago.com and the recipe that we talked about, WGNTV.com slash midday. Thank you. That is beautiful.